Hey guys, Rocket Lee here once again. What's up, everybody? Welcome to, welcome to another episode of the RTB Podcast. What's up, guys? So Nintendo had uh, their E3 slash their own little event as well. And my God, if you're wondering, well, Rocket Blade, of all the things you announced, who you, who do you feel is the one this year? Um, Nintendo, because Nintendo dropped bombs, guys. They dropped bombs. Good, like they dropped like amazing, like like amazing, amazing stuff. Of course, they showed off uh, more footage from uh, Xenoblade Two, which got announced, and it looks amazing. And everyone in the internet like loving the new um, female protagonist, one of the female protagonists you work with. Hey, saying how hot she is and stuff. It's funny, but they show they show a uh, gameplay footage on that and stuff, and it looks like the same great gameplay that Xenoblade always had. It looks like from Monosoft. It looks looks like be fantastic and beautiful, and I can't wait to see what they do with it. it looks like like a fun fun game, um, RPG. Um, then they announced a new Yoshi game, and it looks diamond. This one looks like it'll be a lot of fun. Like, and also it's co-op, so one could be a green Yoshi, green the original green Yoshi or red Yoshi. Point is that's pretty cool, and it's nice that they added co-op. Um, to it, so that's pretty neat. Um, what else was announced? Oh, the new Kirby game coming out. Um, it looks really, really good. Not for none. I got, I got to start playing some Kirby games because Kirby, the last time I played, the, the one, the one I played was like Return to Dreamland on the Wii. It was really good, really, really good. And I need to start playing, getting some Kirby games and start playing them because like, it's a lot of good ones out there. I haven't played yet, surprisingly. I know, me, me being a Nintendo fan, I hardly ever played Kirby games. I guess it didn't appeal to me, but like, I need to start playing because the one I did play on the Wii was really, really well done. Really good, and I need to start like getting into some um, Kirby games because it like that one that was announced was, was also super fantastic. Um, of course, the, as that classic claim Kirby gameplay of him sucking up, absorbing enemies and getting their powers and just doing insane special attacks while looking while it looking really, really fantastic. Um, of course, we know I talked about it. Um, Pokemon, um, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon's coming out. Also, Pokemon uh, DX. Which, you know, it sucks for the Wii owners because they get, like, five new fighters that we're missing on our version. You know? It's whatevs. But the main thing that made me happy about the Pokemon one, which is another one, reason, one of the reasons why they won, was that they announced that they're going to do a core RPG Pokemon game on the Switch because people were, like, were demanding is like, because it makes sense because, you know, the main thing was, like, you know, oh, you know, you know, Pokemon, we, Pokemon, we make Pokemon, you know... The handheld games because we want people to go out and interact with other people and explore. You know, kind of like with the Pokemon trainer. That's why you know the, the Pokemon trainer in the game. That's why we make them only for the handheld. But since the Switch is built like a handheld, they should do it. But they didn't. They they didn't. They haven't made one yet. They did one I think twice with the GameCube, but that's about it. They were pretty good, but they didn't really go anywhere after that. They didn't make any one sense. And like and people thought, oh for sure, the so Switch is like built like a. Like a, you know, like a, you know, like a portable, like, you know, the 3DS, they're going to do it for sure. And then they got Pokemon Tournament. People were angry and upset, rightfully so, because they really wanted a core Pokemon game. But goodness, this game, the thing the head president or, or, or head CEO or, or one of, I want to say the head president of uh, Game Freak decided, look, we heard your cries, we heard your demands. So, we're, as, you know, since to the high fan demand, we're going to make a core RPG, RPG Pokemon game for this Switch. And I'm like... That is smart, because I made a video on that not too long ago saying, man, they do that, they make mad money. And I guess Nintendo realized, you know, we're walking away from a lot of money if we don't do this. We need to make this game. So they announced it on their platform that, yes, we are making a core RPG Pokemon game. It may take a while. I mean, we may see nothing for more than a year or so, but trust me, it's in development as we speak. I'm like, yes, Nintendo, there you go. There you go. There you go. Sorry, I just killed a mosquito. Mm. Darn bugs. It's a bad thing I'm being outside, but well, you know, <laughs> what can you do? But yeah, I'm like, there you go, Nintendo. That's what I'm talking about. Like, make a company, make something that people are gonna care about. That is what I'm talking about. That is smart. That is smart. That's like, trust me. They do like a combo pack like they said they are. Oof. Watch it fly off the shelves. Just watch it fly. Um. Also, Rocket League got announced for the Switch because, of course, it's a smart move. Also, um, Skyrim's coming to the Switch. Also, the cool thing is that if you have like the Archer Link Amiibo, you get you get like the the you get you get like the clothes, you get the, the shirt, the the Hylian short and shield and pants, everything that Link wore, his champion set wore from uh from Breath of the Wild on in the Skyrim game. I thought that's a nice bonus. They even showed like some gameplay of the main character, your character wearing. It. I'm like that is that is fucking sweet. 
It's so damn cool. <laughs> Excuse me, I really like that. That's so damn cool. I really, really like that. That's a good bonus, Nintendo. I appreciate that a lot. Um, of course, I know, I know another one. Of course, um, he showed off more of Mario Odyssey. Man, that's gonna be like, I mean, that game looks amazing. Oh my god, the more I see it, the more I want it. So, so damn bad. It looks really, really good. My god. Although I had, I didn't hear they're not, they're announcing co op, but they didn't announce, they announced, they announced co op for the game, but they're not sure, but they didn't announce like, who, 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 when you co-op with the game, who, who are you going to be? And, um, some people, you know, a lot of people, of course, like me, wanted to be Luigi, but of course, a lot of people jokingly are saying, which I hope is not the case, that you're co you're, you're, you're co-oping, when you co-op, you, you, you control the hat. Which I hope is not true, because was, was, was Mario Galaxy, well, the other way, you, you just shoot little star things to help Mario collect star bits, and like, that's not really helping game, you know? We want to be there with our friends, not just like mild, just with some mild support, you know. Come on, just do it, Nintendo. You can do it. Come on. Um. Also, they did they, they, they not some crossover with Ubisoft because like they like the only developer I was really developing anything for the Wii. Um. Was um this raging raging rabbits um, like, crossover game, and I'm like very hesitant at first. I'm like I don't know. How is this gonna work? I mean, I mean, how how is this gonna work? But then, um, I'm, I know they're not they're not have the permadev system, but they they they're gonna make it like XCOM, any on enemy, enemy unknown style. You know how you know how, if, for those of you who play XCOM, any unknown, enemy unknown, it has that you know the tactical like RPG like mechanics to it. Like imagine X, imagine X, that XCOM the little imagine the XCOM gameplay. But with Nintendo characters, you know, doing the Nintendo things to attack, you know, the, the Nintendo stuff, you know, like throwing eggs or whatever, and that's what you have with this game. I went from like not being interested, like you know, the quote uh, Leonardo DiCaprio from uh, Django Unchained, you have my curiosity. Now you have my attention. <laughs> now I'm like now I actually want the game. It comes out this it comes out this year in August. I'm like okay, good, because it looks like. Well, from like I'm not sure to like okay now I want this. This looks like like they they sold it to me. I saw the gameplay looks really good. Of course, I mean, you know, of course they're funny. It's, 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 it's you know it's it's like you know like I said it's, the gameplay is like XCOM, Enemy Unknown, but of course with their own Nintendo spin on it, and which I really like and appreciate. It looks like it'll be like a fun little RPG game that, that that's gonna be fun for everybody. It looks like it'll be a fun fun time. That was like really really smart. Um, but of course. The last of it, the big like one-two punch that um, Nintendo did was one. Um, of course, I mean it's sad though because it, of course you know about the whole Metroid um, fan game that was made. It was you know it came out on Samus's birthday. It was a remake of um, Samus Returns on the Game Boy. It came up Metroid Two on the Game Boy. It was a remake. And of course, Nintendo put a cease and desist on that. Of course, they did a video on that how Nintendo should work with people like that. So, like, just taking them down. And now it's coming. This, this new Metro game is coming out in September. The reason, you know, reason why they took it down and was being, being very aggressive on it was because they were because they, on the, the Metro game that's coming to 3DS is a remake of was a remake of Metroid: Samus Returns because they were doing it. That's why. So I'm like, oh, okay. Now that makes sense why they're being like they didn't want that, that game to be out because they're making it them, they're making it themselves. And of course, it looked amazing. I was like, wow. And it comes out September. And you know what sucks though, man? What really, really sucks though? Because I have I mean my friend Cooper playing uh, Metroid Federation Force, and despite this one frustrating mission, so far it's been pretty fun. For the most part, ain't it would have been good if they would release this game first. Then, like, I want to say maybe like sometime, um, maybe like in the summer, like June or July or whatever, release Federation Force, like you know that that, or maybe it's the same time September release Federation Force the following year. I bet you would have sold better because because also because the next game announced besides the, the Metroid Prime Samus Returns remake was Metroid Prime 4. That's right, Retro Studios is working on Metroid Prime 4. It is happening, it's officials in development. So I'm like, fucking yes! That's amazing, and good job with your new Nintendo. 
So yeah, if they would announce this, this was if this would have came out. These games, that game would have came out first, and now it's bad. Metroid Prime is Force coming in the following year, like in 2018, release Metroid Federation Force on the 3ds. It would have sold better because. You know, people thought you know it would have it would have sold because not game is practically dead. And like I said, I checked online; no one's online. Hell, Heroes of Ruin, like a, like this third party, like like um, like um, Square game from that developed by N Space. When, when I searched online, there was pe- people online with that game, and that game was hardly like not well promoted. Yet here in Federation Force, which was promoted out the ass, no one's online besides me and Koopa. The game is practically dead in the, the game was practically dead in the water. But I bet you, if they were released it the following year in September or in the summer, people, are like, you know, what? I'll get this spin off a try because they have they have a met they, they know that that Metroid is not being replaced with that. They have two not one but two Metroid games coming. That the one that, that they played the one last year from you know the remake from last year. They know that Prime Four is coming, so they would have given that game a chance. They would they would have done that. I bet you, Prime uh, Federation Force would have done a lot a lot better um, than they would have done now. Because of course, obviously, since People thought it was gonna, you know, this this that the Federation people were was gonna play Samus. It it failed it miserably. It did terrible in sales. I don't think it even sold even a hundred thousand copies, which is that's 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 bad. So um, so yeah, if, if they would have done that and waited and released it like the following year, knowing that these two games would be announced, trust me when I say this game Federation Force would have sold so much better. And they would have waited and released it the following year. Because see, these P fans know there's not one but two, you know, they not one but two Metro games on on the way. So they would have given Federation Force a chance. Instead of it getting like, you know, bashed and you know beaten to death the way it did, which is sad. But um, yeah, man. So overall, I've been being. I mean, you have you have a different opinion, but my opinion, I mean, in my opinion, Nintendo won E3. It was, I mean, that was a knockout punch. And now it's a core RPG Pokemon game. Um, Metroid Prime remake on the 3DS and Prime Force coming on the Switch. Of course, you know Odyssey looks amazing, and of course, also, also Sonic Forces look amazing as well. Also, because I mean, oh, that's another thing to announce. You know, even though it's not really a, a Switch exclusive, but it's coming to the Switch. And the cool thing about it is not only to be either Sonic or classic Sonic, you create your own Sonic character. I thought that was really cool. So if you ever want to be like, you know, you know. Everyone, you know, run as long and help with Sonic. You can finally, your dreams can finally come true and do that. So I thought that was really a nice little um, thing with Sonic Forces. Also, they you know, also some classic villains like you know, Metal and you know, Metal and the main villain from uh, the Sonic uh, Legend Lost Worlds. Also, um, and then the main villain, um, Chaos from uh, Sonic Adventures, making a comeback. He looks good in HD, by the way. So a lot of classic villains are coming back. So this is for for. For, for Sonic Forces, so it's really really cool. So now get, again, not, not only get to play as um, um, modern Sonic or retro Sonic, you get to play as you get create plays a created Sonic character yourself. So again, it's that, that, that was really really cool. So again, in my opinion, Nintendo won E3. They won. They, they mean they that you know the the, the core RPG um, the core RPG Nintendo being announced was the Jab and Metroid Prime remake you know, the Metroid. The, the Samus remake from the Game Boy game and the Metroid Prime 4 being announced was that one two punch. So, in my opinion, day one E3. Because those are, I mean, you know, because wow. I mean, just wow. And, I mean, before it was kind of like iffy on the Switch. Now, definitely want to switch now more than ever. Granted, I'm still, I'm hoping to try and maybe get one in July for, you know, Splatoon 2, which also, by the way, Splatoon 2, uh, Pokemon DX, or having a little, like, you know, regional tournament thing. For the for the for, for the pro players and stuff, the win you know awards and stuff. But I think that's pretty cool. You know, you could, like you, you could you know compete with your teams and stuff, or compete in tournaments to win like grand prizes and stuff. Could compete in the big big leagues to get money. So that's pretty cool that Nintendo's doing that as well. Um. So yeah, overall, man, E3 was great, man. I mean, um, you know, Nintendo announced amazing stuff. You know, uh, PlayStation and Ubisoft and Microsoft all announced amazing things as well. Um, oh, the one thing I forgot to add in the last video, <laughs> which is kind of like, eh. One was eh, one's pretty cool. One, they announced, uh, EA announced NBA Live. Really? Really? Considering the fact that you haven't made, a, you haven't made a, a good basketball game, in my opinion, since the 06 version? Jeez. Wow. And then, like, um, what's another one? Um, uh, Matt and Spider-Man, like, a single-player campaign story. I was like, holy shit, they're doing that? 
that was surprising. Okay, might get the next man in the shot. And um, also, apparently, Call of Duty's not coming to the Switch. I'm like, really, Activision? Wow, really? That's that's wow. That's 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 fucking smart. Yeah, yeah. That won't bite you in the ass. It will. Come on, cause cause they're just gonna get Splatoon two and amongst other things. Come on, Activision. That's stupid. Come on. But other than that, that's that's um that's it. That's my video, man. Like I said, E three was like really fantastic. This really just fantastic this year. If you're a gamer like my, me, is it's an awesome. It was an awesome week of just awesome gaming goodness, and I can't wait to see you know the future E threes what they have in store, whatnot. And Nintendo, good job. I mean, you're the winner of E three. Congratulations, and I can't wait to get your product in July because that's that's when else Splatoon comes out. Hopefully, there'll be one a Switch because I already restocking it better. So I'll hopefully try to get my grab me so grab me a switch in July, and and whatnot. I just wish that it would be easier on, on YouTube, and you know on YouTubers like me so that I can just you know, you know do first impressions or, or first impressions of reviews because they're still being kind of hard hard asses about it. I just wish they'll just change their stance on it, you know. But you know, hopefully they'll do it in the future. But, all right, guys. But that's another video. That's another video for another time. But, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. As always, Rocket Blade signing out. We'll see you guys again real soon. Peace out.